Okay, so the Beatles, never heard of them, right? This song, Obla Di Obla Da, has my son's name in it, and in fact is why I thought, hmm, Desmond works as a name. It's because it's in the Beatles song. Must be good, right? So, we're going to do this one, one finger. I'm playing in D, D A D on this Seagull Merlin. It starts on the one chord, which is the D in this key, and then it goes to the five, which is A, and then back to one. Desmond has a barrow in the marketplace, and Molly is a singer in the band. And Desmond says to Molly, girl, I like your face. That's the third fret, so that's a G in this key. And in the evening, she's still singing back to the five, the A, with a band. And then the chorus is, Oh, bloody, oh, bloody, life goes on. So we're going from the A to the B minor. That's the fourth fret to the fifth fret. Oh, bloody, oh, bloody, life goes on. La, 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 how the life goes on. Gotta throw that extra A in there at the end. Okay? Now, the bridge in a couple of years goes to the four chord. In this key, that is the uh, G. In a couple of years, they have built a home sweet home. With a couple of kids running in the yard. So it's just uh, the four chord, G, down to the D, and, and then you round it out with the A chord, the five chord. So, in a couple of years, we have built a home sweet home. Ba, 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 ba. A couple of kids running in the yard, Desmond and Molly Jones. Ha, ha, ha. That's how you do it with one finger. The way that I am enjoying playing it right now with multiple fingers is to play uh, the D open. Sometimes I'm messing around with that, but I definitely like to play the five, the A, this way. It, it rings better. I like on this instrument it's more resonant, and I also just like that it doesn't get in the way of everything. Um, Desmond has a bow in the marketplace, as opposed to marketplace, that just sort of sticks out, so Desmond, Desmond has a barrel in the marketplace, Molly is a singer in the band, alright, and then That is the G chord. I'm doing ring finger on the third fret, index finger on the uh, first fret middle string, and the top string is open. And then A was middle finger on the first fret, ring finger on the first fret, middle string open. So. So that's the verse. So in the chorus, we have an A chord and a B minor chord, as well as the D chord. It's the only time the B minor shows up in the whole song. So, oh blah D, oh blah da, life goes on. Blah, that's where it is. Oh, how the life goes on. So it jumps back to the to the five, the A chord, really quickly. Oh blah D, oh blah da, life goes on. That's the chorus. The bridge is even more straightforward. It's only four, one, four, five in terms of chord numbers, which is in this key, G, D, G, A. And in the A, we have the opportunity here to use an A7 chord, 
which is a dominant seven chord. And I'll show you that in a second here. So I like doing the the uh, the four chord, the G chord with my ring here, my index on the middle string, the first fret, and my pinky on the top string. So full in uh, a couple of these. That's the A7 where I'm taking the, the shape where I've got ring, index, pinky, and I'm replacing the pinky with my middle finger on the third fret. It gives that um, tension. So get a, a little bit of tension, musical tension, to draw you back to the to the dominant chord, the, the one chord, the D chord in this key. So maybe a couple of years. Okay, so that's how we're doing all the chords for the song, and we'll uh, put it all together. Three quick requests, one quick suggestion. One, please subscribe to the channel. Two, leave a comment. Three, click the bell so that you know when videos come out. Now my suggestion is, I have a free download. It's on the website. It will help you transpose. I would love for you to download it. Let me know if it helps. That way you can learn more songs than I get on the channel. Okay, getting dizzy. Bye.